Hello there, my name is David Hathaway, and I'm going to do a uh, Let's Play video of Portal 2 from beginning to end. And uh, it's not going to be a video where I'm going to show you every, you know, achievement you can get or every secret, uh, you know, Ratman uh, location, but it's going to be, you know, fairly quick. Um, by no means it's going to be, you know, um, like a speed run or anything like that, but... So let's quickly go over some of the options here. I like to do this. Uh, we're running at 1080p resolution, full screen, and then I have everything maxed out on my NVIDIA GeForce uh, GTX 780 Ti. It's made by uh, Gigabyte, overclocked. Um, so the core is about 1150. Uh, it fluctuates 13 megahertz from 1137 to 1150 megahertz, so not too bad there. So here's the settings you can see. I won't go through any of the details. And um, let's get to it. And as you, you can see, I have fraps running on the upper left hand corner. So you can tell what the uh, frame rate is during the game. been in suspension for 50 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Good. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, Reflect briefly on this classical music. Good. Now please return to your bed. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. This courtesy call Hello? Is Anyone All in there? Subject should vacate the enrichment Hello? immediately. Any test subject. Are you gonna open the door? Ha! Ah! Oh god, you look um good. Looking good actually. Are you okay? Are, are you don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm, stay stay calm, prepare. It's all the same, prepare. It's all fine. Alright. Don't move. I'm gonna get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice, up to you. You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Most test subjects do experience some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed, all right? Uh, although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling, because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me, just say yes. Okay, what you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just, you just jumped. But never mind, say apple. Apple. Okay, you know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. All reactor core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Okay, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You're still holding on? The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. 
Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? Have I got enough space? Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And whose fault do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? Alright, see, no, I hear that one. I hear that one. Okay, listen, we should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive, alright? Not dead. Okay. Almost there. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. There's a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes. Not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Well, there we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, you got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best and I'll meet you up ahead. Hello. Hello, and again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. We are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. Cube and button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. If cube and button-based testing cause this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. You now, this playthrough would take me two days. I'm going to probably take uh, two hours, hour and four or five minutes, and stop, and then continue the next day. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation grill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to, or is incapable of listening to us. Hey, hey! You made it! There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Oh! Hello? Can you see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? If that's important, should have asked that first. I'm, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to work on the assumption that you're still alive, and I'm just going to wake you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, then I'll come back, and assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. All right? Brilliant. Go team. See you in an hour, hopefully.
hopefully, if you're not dead. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Good. If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. All right, so guys, I'm uh, recording using Shadow Play from the GeForce Experience. Uh, usually, I only lose about one to maybe three frames per second when I'm recording, which isn't bad. And it's going to be running this at 60 next frames. This is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in three, two, one. Great work. Because this message is pre-recorded, any observations related to your performance are speculation on our part. Please disregard any undeserved compliments. So here is the first uh, Ratman's uh, hidden spot, one of his places he hung out, I guess. Take a look at some of the paintings and drawings he's done. And I will show you this about the, the course of the game. Again, I'm not going to try to run through it as fast as I can, but uh, it's just kind of nice to take a minute and look at it. You encourage that. If the enrichment center is currently being bombarded with fireballs, meteorites, or other objects from space, Please avoid unsheltered testing areas wherever a lack of shelter from space debris does not appear to be a deliberate part of the test. Well done. The Enrichment Center reminds you that although circumstances may appear bleak, you are not alone. All Aperture Science personality constructs will remain functional in apocalyptic, low-power environments of as few as 1.1 volts. Yeah, and because of uh, Shadow Play, um, um, it's going to be separating it due to the fact that I have Windows 7 Ultimate into uh, 3.8 gigabyte files. So this first uh, section today is going to be five or six parts. This next test applies the principles of momentum to movement through portals. If the laws of physics no longer apply in the future, God help you. Now we just have to make a portal where we can just fall through. Put the box. If you are a non-employee who has discovered this facility amid the ruins of civilization, welcome. And remember, testing is the future, and the future starts with you.
Good work getting this far, future starter. That said, if you are simple-minded, old, or irradiated in such a way that the future should not start with you, please return to your primitive tribe and send back someone better qualified for testing. To ensure that sufficient power remains for core testing protocols, all safety devices have been disabled. The Enrichment Center respects your right to have questions or concerns about this policy. Hey! Oi, oi! I'm up here! Oh, brilliant! You did find a portal gun! Oh, the... Do you know what? It just goes to show, people with brain damage are the real heroes in the end, aren't they, at the end of the day? Brave. Come on through! Okay, listen, let me lay something on you here. It's pretty heavy. They told me never, never, ever to disengage myself from my management rail or I would die. But we're out of options here. So get ready to catch me, all right, on the off chance that I'm not dead the moment I pop off this thing. On three. Ready? One. Two. Three. That's high. It's, it's too high, isn't it, really, that? All right, going on three just gives you too much time to think about it. Let's uh, go on one this time. Okay, ready? One. Catch me, catch me! Ow! Ow. I am not dead. I'm not dead. <laughs> Plug me into that stick on the wall over there, yeah? And I'll show you something. You'll be impressed by this. Um, yeah, I can't do it if you're watching. Seriously, I'm not, I'm not joking. Could you just turn around for a second? All right, you can turn around now. Bam! Secret panel. Right open. While your back was turned. Pick me up. And off we go. Look at this! No rail to tell us where to go! Oh, this is brilliant. We can go wherever we want. Just hold on though, where are we going? Seriously. Hang on, let me just get my bearings. Um just follow the rail actually. Oh no. Yes, hello, no, we're not stopping. Don't make eye contact, whatever you do. No, thanks, we're good. Appreciate it. Keep moving, keep moving. to bring you up to speed on something right now. In order to escape, we're going to have to go through her chamber, and she will probably kill us if if she's um, awake. 